Hey there, it's Yobo. Day 188 of life according to Yobo. And on my calendar, it's October the 1st. I got a birthday coming up on October 6th. I ain't gonna tell you what my age is. Well, I, I ain't gonna tell y'all what my age is. Guess. Guess how old I am. Okay, Come on, wait, let me turn this way because I got my grades right there. Mm -hmm. Got a birthday coming up. Still here. Going on 57. Woo, my soul looked back in wonder. Ten years ago, I was ready to call it quits. Age 47, I was ready to call it quits. Life had got me to a certain place where I did not want to live anymore. I didn't tell anybody. Now, of course, I wouldn't go commit suicide. I wasn't going to do nothing like that. But if I could have gotten me a one-way ticket out of here 10 years ago, I would have taken it. That is where I was in life. Sometimes in life, we can experience some situations, some unexpected things, and it consumes us so much until all we see is the situation. We're unable to see past the situation because we, we live it. When we sleep, it's on our mind. During the day, it's on our mind. Sunday morning, oh, I love Sunday mornings because then I can go to church and I can just let it all out. I go in my little tissues. I sit there and I cry and the folks be around me, oh, hallelujah, whoa, use the Lord, hamamoshama. And little did they know that I was waiting on Sunday morning just to have me a good old cry. See, the saints thought I had the Holy Ghost. No, I was just crying my little old eyes out, crying my little old heart out because I was so consumed with everything going on in my world. But, tell your neighbor, but, every day in the midst of my tears, in the midst of me crying, in the midst of me feeling as though I was being swallowed up by this situation, I would always say these words, six words. I ain't going out like this. My mama would say, I'm not going out like this. If mama was here, that's the way I'd have to say it. But I would tell myself, I ain't going out like this. I, I ain't going out like this. I didn't know what the next month held. I didn't know what the next year held. I didn't know what the next decade held. I had no idea. All I knew was that I had to make it through that day. I had to make it from Sunday and live until the next Sunday. So I could go to church sit down, get my tissues, put my head in my lap, have myself a good old cry. And nobody would ever know the deep on the inside, mm, 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 mm. I was torn to pieces. I'm recording this message just to encourage somebody else. Because I told you I'm getting ready to be 57. When I look back, and 10 years ago, and I had to look at where I was then and look at where I am now. If I would have had a glimpse of where I would be today, got just as much money as I had then, probably a little bit less. Don't have no more new clothes. Probably got less clothes. All that stuff is in California. Less clothes, less shoes, more gray hair. More grandbabies. Definitely more peace. Y'all see these books? Life According to Yobo? These are some of the lessons I learned. I learned how to live my life with no mess, no stress, 
And I damn sure ain't taking nobody's BS. I tried not to cuss. I was going to say dang show, but I got to say it the way I... Damn show ain't taking nobody else's BS. <sighs> 47. I was ready to call it quits. All because I was tolerating somebody else's BS. Best thing I ever did was remove myself from the situation. Sometimes you can't change the situation. But boo, you can change you. You can change the role you play in it. I ain't telling nobody to leave their husband. I'm not telling nobody to leave their wife. I'm not telling nobody to quit their job. I'm not telling nobody to put the kids out. What I am saying is, when you remove yourself from a situation, that's the first step to living a life with no mess, no stress, no bills. I don't even know why I'm talking about this. I hope it helps somebody. I'm looking forward to celebrating my 57th birthday. And I'm oh so grateful that I did not take that one-way ticket out of life. Mm, so, 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 so grateful. All I ask you to do, you can relate to any of this, just go to the mirror, look yourself in the mirror, and tell yourself these six words. I ain't going out like this. And then, baby, you keep it moving. Dot com. See y'all tomorrow for day 189 of what? Life, according to Yobo. Bye-bye.